Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is just playing with a couple of things that I picked up recently from uh, Be Perfect and a couple things in my Ulta order that I didn't get when I did my last Ulta haul. So if you wanna see what that is and how I got this look, stick around, we're gonna get into it. My face is mostly done up. I just left out the products I wanted to show you today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Okie dokie, I am really excited about this video. I don't know how often I say that, but it's always true. So in my last Ulta haul, I mentioned that I did pick up a few other products that hadn't arrived yet and they're here now and I wanted to play with them. So I thought I would just jump on camera real quick and we could play together. So my vase is done. Um, foundation, concealer, bronzer, contour, and my brows are done. I didn't have anything new to put on, so I figured get that done out of the way. I do have a new blush from Ulta, and it's the Winky Luxe Cheeky Rose Blush in the shade Knickers. This is so stinking pretty. I love it. I did try it out once, Jackson and I swatched it and then I wore it a few days ago. So I'm just gonna go in with my fluffy brush and just pat it on my cheeks, nice and gentle to start because you know, <laughs> it's not gonna stay that way. We're talking about my cheeks here. I like a blush. This has been, in, this had been in my Ulta cart for months and months and months and months and months. I have wanted this for so long. It's pricey blush. I couldn't justify it. But since I still wanted it all these months later, I thought, well, perhaps I should just grab it. So I did. And I'm not sorry. It's so pretty. It's the kind of thing you can just kind of leave out on your vanity and it looks nice. So it's decorative and so nice on the skin. Really, really like this blush. I've had a couple other Winky Lux products and I wasn't a huge fan. I think it was mostly like lip stuff. And they're cute, don't get me wrong, super cute. But I didn't love the formula. Okay, I'm just gonna go with my finger just dot a little of this on my nose. That blush is very, very fluffy, so. Cute. Love this blush. If you've been thinking about this or you need a new cream blush, this is totes adorbs. I really, really like it. Okay, these next things. Try not to judge me. You're gonna fail, but maybe just like a token attempt at not judging me. I must have heard about these somewhere, obviously, and placed an order, but I don't remember doing it, which may indicate that I spend too much time online shopping or window shopping or whatever. But I got a notification saying it was out for delivery, and I was like, what the frilly heck did I order? It came from Be Perfect, but apparently I ordered all of the highlighters that are in this Be Perfect Cosmetics Get Wet, Get Wet Stacy Marie Makeup Artist. So there are four, at least in my possession. And this is the shade Soft Silk. These are all like a cushiony um, highlighter. And this is in Skin Sheen. This is definitely like a duochrome, multi-chrome type shade. This is Hollow Glaze, and it's definitely like a peachy to pink shift. And then I have Do You, which is like a champagne-y uh, highlighter. And they're all like putty, squishy, really fun to touch. So I think I'm gonna go in with, I really wanna use this one. I think I'm going to. And maybe I'll use this one on my nose in my cupid's bow. That could be fun. And then maybe depending on what I do for an eye look, I could put this on my inner corner over my eyeshadows. 
God, what is wrong with me? Okay, we'll burn that bridge when we get there. Okay, so I'm gonna take this shade, Hollow Blaze, which is the pink and peachy duochrome, on my Wayne Goss number three brush. I'm not sure how best to apply this, so we're gonna start with the brush. That's cute. Holy moly. That's really pretty. I don't very often go in for a pink highlight, but when I want one, I'll know where to get it. That's really, really pretty. It is definitely a glittery kind of formula, but boy, howdy. I like that. Okay, and on my little Morphe M213 brush, I'm just gonna go in the, with the shade Do You for my Cupid's bow and my nose. Wow. That is gorgeous. Super fun, holy moly. I like those a lot. <laughs> yeah, so those two are amazing. If you don't like a hardcore highlight, you probably wouldn't like it, but I do. So I'm a huge fan. That's awesome. I'm just going to prime my eyelids real quick and I'll be right back and we can play with the new eyeshadow palette that I picked up. In that Ulta order, I did get three things. The Winky Lux blush, I picked up this, it's the Lip Sleep Ceramide Lip Butter Sleeping Mask by CosRx. I love CosRx. I use the Snail Slime, I use the AHA BHA toner, I use, I use a bunch of stuff. I have way more, I can't think of what it's called. And so I thought this would be really good. Um, no, it is not. It dried out my lips so bad. I'm so bummed out about it. So far, every lip product I have tried, except for the Laneige sleep mask, has dried out my lips. It's such a bummer. So that's disappointing because most of the Cosart, all of the Cosart's products I've tried so far, I've loved. So I guess one bad seed in the bunch. Can't complain too much, but I had such high hopes for it. Okay, so the eyeshadow palette I grabbed is from BH Cosmetics. It's the Passion in Paris palette. That's what the front looks like. And this is the inside. It's amazing. I cannot wait to play with these. I have no idea what I'm going to do today, but it's gonna be fun. There's so many different things I wanna try. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Notre Dame in my crease. That's a good starting point. And per usual, I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss number four crease brush that I love so much. Well, it's not just a crease brush. That's what I use it for. Oh, that's a really pretty cool toned, like taupey color almost. Really, really nice. That blended out in two seconds. Not too shabby. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce what this one is, but it's this dark green shade right here. And I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss number five, just a big fluffy brush. This is definitely a green. So let's tap off the excess and get that going in my crease slightly lower than that first shade. That's blending out just effortlessly, barely touching my eyelid, and it's just going. I'm gonna go with a clean number 15, refer number 15, just to 
blend this out without adding any more product to my eye. Man, that's stunning. Wow. I'm blown away. That's gorgeous. I think I'm going to keep it simple and go in with this shade right here called City of Light. I just swatched it on my finger and that's what it looks like. That's beautiful. So I'm on a refer number 21, dry. I'm going to get that on my brush, the City of Light shade. Oh, I have some fallout, but I just literally went in with like a crazy person without any care or thought to fall out. Man, oh man. Let me deal with this fallout real quick. That is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna use this stubby Refer number 12 brush, just to add a bit more of that dark green out here for some depth. How can, how can it look that good with three shades? <laughs> if you like these colors, run and get this palette. Holy moly. I'm gonna do the other eye, whack on some mascara, and then come back and finish the under eye. Okay, while I was off camera, I decided to throw on a lip. So I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Shine Loud on a Mission. I love this lipstick. And then for mascara, I'm using the Urban Decay Lash Freak on my upper lashes. So now on a teeny tiny refer number three brush, I'm going to go into that dark green shade that I can't say and just get that going out here. I'm going to fade into my inner corner just a little. Okay, and for eyeliner, I went in with the NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Eyeliner in the shade Aqua Green. Subtle, but I like it. Now on the inner corner, I want to go in with the Be Perfect Highlighter in the shade Skin Sheen. This looks like it's like a white, green, pink maybe. Let's find out. We're going to put that on the inner corner. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, that is the end of this video. This Passion in Paris palette, though I only used three shades, I am ridiculously excited to play with this more. I cannot get over how amazing those three shadows were. They're absolutely stellar. This is not an expensive palette. So, highly recommend. And that's it, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be good and remember to be kind to you.